Hey guys, welcome to Toy Shop. Today we're cleaning carburetors on a Skidoo Formula Deluxe 500. Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face. Looking like I'm from the D. D's no Cartier. Pockets deep. All right, so I got both these carburetors off and I've already put them in the parts washer and got the outside of the car body cleaned up. So that's usually the first step is getting the outside looking good before you tear into anything. One thing I wanna make note of is this and this. We wanna make sure that the carburetors that we took off of each cylinder go back into the same cylinder. So, and we also wanna make sure the jets from this carburetor stay in this carburetor and the jets from this carb stay in this carb. But for the video, we're just gonna do one carburetor and then you'll just have to do the exact same thing for the second carburetor. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you what I do to make sure that the slides feel like they're synchronized on each cylinder. Make sure you stick around for that. All right, so first step is to take these vent hoses off and set them off to the side because we aren't gonna need these. Make note of where these brackets are on these bowl screws. So we can pull that off, set them off to the side. Now we're gonna take the bowl off. We have to take these four screws off right here and then the bowl should slide right out. All right, this doesn't look too bad. All right, we're gonna come back to the float bowl. But for right now, we're gonna take everything out of this car body that we can take out of it. We're gonna get it cleaned and start there. I'm gonna start with getting this little thingamajiggy doodad mabobber off of here. It's controlled by the float needles, those little brass things down in here at the bottom, and it controls the needle underneath it. This doesn't have the floats built into this like a lot of carburetors do. We gotta get this off so we can get the needle out. Sometimes these are kind of a pain in the butt. All right, now, there's a little metal clip on this seat that holds a needle in it. We're gonna pop that apart. So that's what it looks like. All right, now the needle will come up out of here. Now we gotta get the seat out of it. This seat just threads in here. Now you gotta watch because there's a little red gasket underneath this baffle plate and above the baffle plate. So it goes seat, gasket, baffle plate, gasket. So just make sure you don't screw that up when you put it back together. Now we're gonna start with the main jet and then this other doohickey jigger that holds the emulsion tube in. I'm gonna grab a wrench to hold this bottom part in because I wanna take these apart separately. There's the main jet. This is the doohicker mobility thing. Now the emulsion tube should push right down in, get that out of there. Now we have the pilot jet right here. And the only thing we have left on this to take out <clears throat> is the air screw right here, but we gotta find out how many turns out it is. So we're gonna screw it in until it gets snug. So we've got one half of a turn, one turn, and it's tight. So, when we put this together, we're going to go all the way in until it gets tight, and then we're going to back it out one full turn. This sled could be different than yours, so make sure you count how many turns out yours is. If you already have this apart and never counted it, maybe starting at one turn would be a good starting point. There's no washer or o-ring down in here in the bottom of this, like a fuel screw would have. A fuel screw would have a washer and o-ring, but this air screw doesn't have anything underneath it, just the spring, just so I can show you. There's a little spring on there, but there's no washer or O-ring that go on over top of it. So now this is ready to get sprayed out with carburetor cleaner. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in a zoom, zoom. Oh, no. Please don't make that call. Every little hole or orifice that we took a jet or something out of needs sprayed really good with carburetor cleaner. And you don't want to be bashful either. You want to just give her the juice. Now we got this thing all sprayed out with carburetor cleaner. I blew it all out with air. So this is as clean as it's going to get. I'm going to set this off to the side and we're going to start wiping off all the jets. All right, so this is the pilot jet. There's little holes on the side here. We got to make sure all those are open and then in through the end, we got a, there's a hole in there. We gotta make sure that's cleaned out too. So I'm gonna take some carburetor cleaner and spray through it, hit it with some air, look through it, 
maybe stuff a little piece of wire down through there. You don't want to ever stick a tiny drill bit or anything in there. You don't want to remove material. You just want to try to blow gunk out of it. So I'm going to go spray this out and blow it off real quick and then make sure it's open. And then I'm going to do that to the main jet and start getting some of this brass stuff cleaned up. All right, so for the seat, what you want to do is I just hit this with air real quick to blow the gas or anything out of it. And this is just a, some steel wool. You don't want to stick sandpaper or anything down in here. You want something to go down in here and clean the tarnish out of it so that that needle will seat good in there and it's not going to get stuck up by anything. So we're just going to kind of slowly spin and work that in there. Once you get done, you should be able to look down in there and see it super shiny. Good enough to me. We're going to blow this out with some carbon choke. We're going to start assembling this. So I just thought of this after I filmed that last clip. I used steel wool right above all of my other jets, which looked cool for the video but i wouldn't do that because that steel wool likes to shed so i blew all these off again so i don't have to worry about any steel wool particles getting down in here but look cool for the camera but not practical so we're going to put the seat together first just because i had it in my hand we're going to put a gasket on here we're going to grab the little baffle stick it on here and then we're going to stick the other the other gasket on there all right stick this down here now I would only give this like a half of an Ugga Dugga. You don't want to strip it out, it's just brass. I'm going to stick the emulsion tube in there. All right, I don't know how easy that is to see, but there's a little pin down in here on the one side and this has a groove cut in it right in here. So that groove needs to go over top of that pin. It's kind of fun to fish this down in here. Well, that went pretty smooth. Now we're gonna grab the whatchamacallit doohickey majigger that holds a motion tube in there. We're gonna snug this up. Again, remember this is just brass on brass. Brass is really soft. We're gonna put our main jet in. Now our little pilot jet. Gonna go down in here. Um, as far as the needle, I just wiped the tip off. You want to kind of look at it and make sure it's not all dry rotted or anything or there's not a great big round dent or divot all the way around it from where it has been sitting in the same spot in that seat for a long time. You might have an issue if that is the case, but this one looks pretty good. So we're going to slide that back down in there. Now we got this little steel clip that holds it all together. Now for the little float flappy thing, it's kind of easy to cheat to remember which way it goes because there's a little little shiny spot right there from riding on the needle for so long so I know that that has to go down. We want to make sure that's in there pretty close to flush. If not it's going to hold the bowl up. Pretty much everything on the inside. I think we're going to wait on that air screw till we get the bowl cleaned up and on there so I can flip it over and we can put this last air screw in. All right these little rubber caps right here do pop off. Make sure you don't lose it though. Now they should be universal. It does say up. So up is when it's assembled, which would be this way. So the little brass knobs are at the bottom of the bowl. And take these out and get in here and kind of get some of this goopa stuff off the bottom of this. Get this ready to put back together. And if you look at this, there's a big cutout here. That is for the needle assembly. So it has to go on that direction. Stick that on there. Make sure you get it pushed down all the way so it's seated. Now our little bolts with the overflow hose holder went towards the airbox side. So we're gonna get those started in there. All right, so we got all four of those tight. Now we can flip it over to where that air screw was. Stick that down in there. We're gonna run it in carefully till it bottoms out. And we're gonna back it up one full turn, so half of a turn, one turn. All right, time for the vent hoses. Time to get her back on the sled. All right, so after taking the slides out of the carburetor, it's always a good idea to double check that your carbs are still synchronized. So what that means is that both slides should open at the same time, and they also should both get it wide open throttle at the same time. Now it's easy to see in the video but it's a lot harder to see on the sled 
So what I'll do is I'll take two fingers, usually my thumb and my middle finger, and stick in here and you just kind of touch the slide at the bottom and then you slowly start to open up the throttle. But you're gonna kind of feel with both fingers at the same time and slowly raise, slowly squeeze the throttle open and close. You don't open it wide open. You just kind of burp it along and you're kind of feeling to make sure both sides are picking up at the same time. And then after that, you're going to kind of hold them up here close to full throttle or as close to full throttle as you can get it. So like right now, I'm going to hold the throttle lever until I can feel just a little bit of a bump where that slide's just sticking into the throat of the carburetor. And I'm just going to make sure that both of them are sticking out about the same just by feel. So, and that feels pretty good. When you first put the carbs back on, you wanna work the throttle a couple times. If you have one that's way off, the throttle cable might have pulled out of the top of the cap. So make sure that both of your throttle cables are seated down into the cap. But other than that, just double check this. We're gonna throw the airbox back on and we're gonna be good to go. If your slides aren't pulling up at the same time, stay away from your idle screws right here. Where you want to adjust it is at the top of the cap right up here. By lengthening or shortening, this stem up here is going to pull slack out of that one individual slide and going to and allow you to adjust whether or not that slide pulls sooner or later. So stay away from the idle screw and just adjust it up here if you need to get these closer. Well guys, if you guys got any value out of that, why don't you smash the like button and consider subscribing to see what else we do around here. Over here is gonna be a playlist for everything else that we've done to this sled. If you guys have any other issues, then you should check that out. I hope this helps and until next time, peace.